Okay, our next movie is not a strong piece of work. It's The Master of Disguise with Dana Carvey cementing his title as the rich little of our time. If only that were a good thing. Carvey is a likable guy. I think he can be a brilliant mimic, but his skills are wasted in this uninspired mess. He plays Pistachio Disguise, who comes from a family of magically gifted, crime-fighting impressionists. Harold Gould plays his grandfather. Who are you now? The question is not who I am. The question is who are you? I know who I am. I am Prince Lalejama from the Ringy Dingy Heights near Bombay, Calcutta, and New Delhi, India, 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 India. For some reason, the master of disguise chooses to lampoon movies that are 20 to 30 years old. The Exorcist, Jaws, Ten, and Scarface. Not a chance. What else you got? Crab cakes. With your attitude, they should be called crabby cakes. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you. Have you got a little waiter and some tiny nuts? After his parents are kidnapped, Pistachio and sidekick Jennifer Esposito go to a place called the Turtle Club in search of clues. May I help you? Are you a member of the Turtle Club? Well, not exactly. Not exactly, but am I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? The Master of Disguise does have one achievement, the all-time record for most outtakes, deleted scenes, and directed the camera jokes after the movie is over. But this abundance of alternate takes and characters that weren't even in the actual movie is like an on-screen confession that they didn't have much of a story when filming started. Another odd touch are the cameos in the movie itself by B-list celebrities like Bo Derek, track star Michael Johnson, and pop singer Jessica Simpson, who all have to be identified by name, which kind of defeats the joke of the cameo. If The Master of Disguise had been a free cable movie, well, I still wouldn't have recommended it. I wouldn't even recommend it if you cut it up and made it into ukulele picks. Uh-oh, look at This out. movie, ne it never ended, and it was only 80 minutes long. I'm looking <laughs> at my glow-in-the-dark yeah. watch here. I think the movie itself was only about 60 or 65 minutes in length. Right. And that's why they had to have all of the outtakes and credit right. cookies, which went on and on. And instead of listing the songs and then having an outtake, they list three songs and have an outtake. And then three more songs and have an outtake. Uh, Finally, they have the caterer up there. Well, they don't exactly have an outtake for the caterer. But you get my I would point, have liked to just, see the caterer. And then at that point, finally, it looks like it's over. The projectionist closes the curtains. Yeah. And then they, there's Dana Carvey on the curtain saying, wait a minute. The movie isn't over yet, and I'm well, going, you know... You know what would have been nice at the end? Dana Carvey apologizing yes. for the movie at the end. So this is a real clunker.